All right, guys, like I said, I'll, I'll finish this uh, worksheet for you so we can move on to greater and better things tomorrow. Um, again, you want to look for those easy knockouts. 5 can get to 15 if we multiply by 3. This will be a negative, and that's a positive, so we're looking good there. So top them by a 3. I'm going to bring it down beneath it. So 3 times 5 is 15x. And then 3 negative 15y, because I saw that coming. And then negative 60. Okay? Well, add like terms. Or add them up. Those cancel. 15 minus 8 is going to be 7x. And that'll be negative 63. Divide by 7. X equals negative 9. Plug that back into one of the equations. I'm picking the top one. Remember to use the original e equation, not the modified one. Plug everything in you know. That's negative 45. Negative 5Y equals negative 20. And again, I'm, trying, I'm going to try to race through these because it's late and well I got church to go to negative 5y that should be 25 divide by negative 5 y equals negative 5 so my final answer should be negative 9 negative 5 boom the next one again that 7 could be a 14 if I multiply the bottom by 2 Okay, so I'm just going to bump things over real quick. So negative 7x plus 14y equals 14 times everything by 2, so 4x. Negative 14y equals negative 8. Again, those cancel when you're adding them up. This should be 6. This should be negative 3x divided by negative 3 x equals negative 2. Again, plug it into one of your equations. The bottom one looks easier. So 2, negative 2, minus 7y equals negative 4. Negative 4 minus 7y equals negative 4. Add 4 to both sides. That's a 0. Don't think you have to stop. So y equals 0. So negative 2, 0. Boom. Let's move on. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Again, the top one, top one of 4 can be a 12 and multiply by 3. We need to make it a negative 3 so they cancel. And again, I'm going to bring it right underneath it. So negative 6x, negative 12y, and negative 60. Draw my line, that's negative 13x, those cancel, equals negative 78, divide by negative 13, x equals, let's see, calculator needs to be on before you try to use it guys, 6, again plug that 6 into something, one of the easier equations, I'm picking the top one, x is 6, so it takes the place of where the x is, and now I'm going to solve for y real quick. 6 times 2 is 12. 20. Subtract 12. Remember to be neat. Keep things nice and orderly. Divide by 4. y equals, let me scroll this down a bit, 2. So my answer is 6, 2. Next one. I think it's easier for that 2 to turn into a 6. I'm going to multiply the bottom by negative 3. Put that in the wrong spot, didn't I, guys? There we go, negative 3, put it right here. I'm going to bump stuff over, so negative 3x plus 6y equals negative 9. Distribute that negative 3, so 12x. Negative 3 times 2y is that negative 6y. We discussed that. And then a positive 36. Those cancel. This will be 9x equals 27. Divide by 9, x equals 3. 
plug that in. I'm just going to use the top one again. Negative 9 plus 6y equals negative 9. Add 9 to both sides. 0, 6y divided by 6. y equals 0, so 3, 0. And remember, you can check your work. If I plug in 3 right here and it's 0, that's negative 9, so that checks because that would be 0. Same thing down here. If I plug in a negative 3, excuse me, a 3 and a 0, that's negative 12, so that checks. That's a good answer. Uh, this 7 can turn that 14 easily, so I'm going to chimes, chimes, times the bottom by 2. So I'm just going to come underneath it here. I mean, off to the side. Kind of running out of room. I'll just bring everything down. I'll try to bring everything down correctly. That's another thing. Make sure you, if you're moving this stuff around, make sure you don't forget any uh, negative symbols or anything. So the next equation 14x, negative 18y equals 14. Draw your line, 0. That's a 0. But remember, those cancel. So we like to just draw a line through. <coughs> negative 5 and negative 18 is going to be a negative 23y divided by negative 23y equals 0. Plug that in. Notice I'm plugging it in for the y. I know we made that mistake several times in class. Well, anything times 0 is 0, so 7x equals 7. That essentially cancels. Divide by 7. And we get 1. So 1, 0. <coughs> now let's see. Yep, and that works. Just did the math in my head. Again, if you plugged in 1 for x, 0. This cancels. This cancels. Negative 14 times 1 is negative 14. 7 times 1 is 7. It works. Uh, let's see. This one's a bit harder. I need to multiply. I'm just going to go and multiply by big numbers. But check this out. The top's going to be 5. The top's going to be, the bottom's going to be by 8. Notice how I just switched the leading coefficients. And I picked the leading ones because this is positive and that's negative. So all I have to do is multiply by positive numbers and I know for a fact that my x's are going to cancel. So the top one, 5 times 8, is going to be 40x plus 20y equals whatever that negative 28 times 5 which is negative 140 the bottom negative 40x see I saw that coming I know those are going to cancel then plus 24y equals well I don't know what that is 8 times 23 184 do your math those cancel this adds up to 44y and 184 minus 140. That's what it essentially is saying. It's 44. Divide by 44 from both sides. Y equals 1. Plug that back in. I think I'm going to just pick the top equation. Notice for plugging it in for Y. So 8x plus 4 equals a negative 28, subtract 4 from both sides, and we get 8x equals negative 32, divide by 8, x equals negative 4. So negative 4, 1. I already worked these examples out. So, Again, I'm going to make the top two. Uh, I'm going to multiply the top of my positive seven. Actually, let's make it a negative so the negatives or the positive is on top. Multiply the bottom by just a three. And it'll stay negative because of that negative. So the top one, negative seven, negative three is 21x. And then negative 35y equals, so negative seven times negative 20. 
is 140 and then negative 21x on the bottom and that's positive 21y equals let's see 3 and negative 28 negative 84 draw your line those cancel so negative 35 plus 21 you get negative 14 y equals 140 minus 84 56 divide by negative 14 y equals negative 4 plug that back in so 3x plus 5 negative 4 equals negative 20 negative 3x minus 20 equals negative 20 add 20 to both sides wow that I got a little weird let me try that again come on plus 20 those cancel that adds up to 0 negative 3x divide by negative 3 x equals 0, so 0, negative 4. Alright, let's see here. Guys, I'm going to do something a little different this time. I know this is going to be crazy, but trust me, it's going to work. I want to divide the top by a 6. Or you could say I'm going to multiply by 1 6 on the top, and the bottom I'm going to multiply by 1 7. And watch what happens. 1 6 times 36 will get us 6x minus 10y equals 0, and the bottom one will be negative 6x and a positive 10y equals 0. And look what happens. These cancel, these cancel. It's 0 equaling 0, so therefore it's all real numbers or many solutions, as y'all say it, because they equal. This is that example of them being the exact same line, kind of overlapping each other. Okay? Let's see this next one. I think I'm going to multiply the top by 9 and the bottom by 4. Okay? So, top one will be negative 36x, negative 36y equals 72. The bottom will be 36x plus 36y equals, I have no idea, 27 times 4, so that's a negative 108 because of that negative, draw my line, wait a minute, what's going on here, those cancel, we get 0 equals 72 minus 108, negative 36, guys, 0 cannot equal negative 36, that means these lines are parallel to each other, so no solutions because they do not intersect. All right, next one. Again, I think I'm just going to multiply top by 5 and the bottom by 9. 5 times 9 is 45x minus 30y equals, let's see, 15 times 5 is 75. The bottom one, I know these will cancel. I saw it coming. You get a positive, let's see here, 72y equals, I have no idea, 29 times 9 is 261. X is cancel. 72 minus 30 is kind of what that is saying. So 42y, 75 plus 261 is 336 divided by 42. And we get 8. Plug that back in. I'm just going to use the top one. 
again use parentheses when you make your substitution. 9x, 6 times 8, 48. Uh, excuse me. We have Chinese food. 9x, those cancel, equals 15 plus 48. 63, divide that by 9, and you get x equaling 7. So 7 and 8. All right. Let me check time. Again, here's your answers. Um, yeah, let me spend real, really quickly a word problem we need to start working on. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to have to print this out for you guys. All right. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night.